Hello everyone, this is the IFC Architect, and today is going to be a little bit different. We're not quite doing a Blender BIM tutorial, but we are doing a tutorial to download, install, and manage your Blender version, which is important. Um, this information can be found elsewhere, but I thought it would be good to just have a simple one on the channel. So there's a number of places that you could download Blender from. Um, so the first one is obviously blender.org forward slash download, the downloads page here, where you can just download the latest version, which is available with the big blue button here. Um, if you don't have Windows, then all the various versions are available here, macOS, Linux, and Steam. So that was the next place you could get it. Um, you could go to go and get Blender on Steam. Um, the advantage of Steam is that it automatically updates your Blender, and it is the version I've been using for the longest, um, although I don't use it anymore. And it also keeps track of your hours, if that's important to you. Um, so, but Steam is mainly a gaming platform, so I completely understand if <laughs> people are not familiar with Steam or don't, don't want to create a Steam account. The next place you could get it is the Microsoft Store, I suppose. Um, it's good that it's there, but I wouldn't use this one. Um, and the last one, and the one that I would recommend, is to go get the Blender Launcher. Um, what the Blender Launcher does is it allows you to, uh, to download and manage multiple versions of Blender at the same time, which I find I'm doing all the time, especially in a professional environment. So if you're an architect or if you're a professional that requires some sort of consistency, um, the Launcher is probably going to give you the, the best experience. So if you are downloading it through Blender or any one of these, Steam or uh, Microsoft Store, all you have to do is just say, click download. It'll take you to a downloads page and then it'll start to download. Um, and then this is just a, a launcher that you will double click and it'll install Blender, basically. Um, if you go to the Blender launcher, you can say get for Windows or get for Linux. Unfortunately, there isn't a Mac OS version yet. Um, sorry. <laughs> but for me, I'm on Windows. So I'm just going to say get for Windows and it's going to download the launcher. And I, once that's finished downloading, I'm going to just forward to it. So you can see it's finished downloading. And once that is done, uh, you can just go to the Blender launcher and you can say extract to this file. And it'll make a little folder. And then you'll have an exe that you can launch. And I already have a version of this. <laughs> okay. Well, it'll launch it and it'll give you the menu bar like this, basically. What you need to do is you need to go to Downloads and you'll see all the different versions of Blender. So the latest version is 3.3 LTS. You're going to click Download here and it's going to download it and it's going to add it to your library. So actually, sorry, 3.3.1 is the, is the latest. So it's going to add it. So here you can see there's three tabs at the top. There's your library. These are your downloaded downloads, which are these are all the options to download. Basically, you can see this one is downloading. Um, there's user, which I suppose is a custom thing I haven't used. And then there's uh, tabs on the left-hand side as well. So in here, in the left-hand side, you can see there's a stable, a daily, and an experimental branch. Experimental is like special extra additions to Blender. Um, daily is your very unstable, constantly updated versions. And then stable is the one I'd recommend. Um, which are just like versions that you can use and that are generally not broken. So it goes quite far back, all the way to 2.79. Um, and you'd be surprised. I downloaded, which one? Uh, 2.79 uh, the other day, so I could download um, a 3DS model and convert that to an IFC. So yeah, um, we're going to come to our library and I don't have any daily or experimental builds. I just have these four uh, stable releases. And once you have that release there, all you have to do is click launch and it'll open up your Blender file. Yeah, it's that straightforward. If you don't want to use the Blender launcher or if you can't because you're on Mac, um, the alternative would be to just download it from Blender like I showed. And then when it has this version up, you can just get it up here and you can say run and then just go through the wizard and accept all the licensing agreements and such. And you say install, it's fairly quick. And then we say finish. Just click start and you type in Blender 
the app will be its own thing over here. Mine is obviously already installed, so here it is. <laughs> All right.